So the intention of this video is just to go over some of the very, very basics of the iPad uh, you received. Um, just so you have an idea of kind of what you can do with it. This is by no means going to go into any kind of content specific. How do I use this iPad in my classroom? This is more just what, what do you have in your hands now? Um, so from the, from the basics, um, obviously this is, this is your device. Uh, you hopefully by now you've figured out um, this this case with this keyboard um, all you have to use pull comes apart um, it's just a magnet um, the nice part about this keyboard uh, is you don't need to charge this uh, you don't need to pair it with Bluetooth all you have to do is put them together and the keyboard will work so that's one nice thing this is a uh, this case is very sturdy um, bottom for that reason uh, in terms of the, this is called a Logitech crayon that you received. Um, this, uh, you do need to charge. Um, actually, the, the nice part is it uses the exact same charger that came with your iPad. And it's, uh, this will charge very quickly. Um, if you flip the little orange cap back on the end, you'll see the charging port. All you have to do with the pen is you simply have to hold this button until you see a little green light appear. That uh, means the crayon is on and now it will work with your iPad. You do not need to pair this with Bluetooth or anything like that. Turn it on, it'll work. Uh, it will turn itself off after you don't use it for a while. So that's uh, pretty simple to use and it'll hopefully help you get used to it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to an iPad screen so you guys can, I can walk you through just a couple settings you may wanna know about um, while you are using these devices. Um, and one final note before I do that, the main reason uh, we wanted to give these to you now, I know you don't have the TVs or anything else that go with them, but I really wanted you to have an opportunity this summer to ju just play, just go play with the iPad, um, get some apps, get a feel for it, uh, figure out how this works. Um, and just so, just so you have some kind of a comfort level uh, going into next year. And then obviously next year we'll have, uh, we'll have some more formal trainings on how to do uh, content specific items. Over to the iPad. So just a couple things in regards to how the iPad functions. Um, again, this will not be any kind of comprehensive video over all features um, and tips and tricks, but just a couple things to get you all started um, before we actually have any official trainings um, on how to use these devices. One of the key things I want you to notice um, is somewhere on your device, you should have an app called Manager. I'm highlighting it now. This is a key app for you to, to learn about. Um, and the reason is, I'm going to go ahead and open it. The very first thing I want to point out is this first screen that will appear right here. Um, it says insert your activation information. And this does appear like it very much looks like you need to sign into the iPad. You don't. Um, that's actually for us in uh, in tech, that activation information. So don't, don't worry anything about that. What you do want to look at, though, is right here, this self-service button. If you click on self-service, this is where you can find apps for your device. So traditionally on an Apple device, there is an app store. Um, you are not able to go to the actual app store to go install devices because you're not actually signed in with any accounts um, in terms of Apple accounts on this device. But the self-service store, as you can see here, it's just loaded. These are apps that as Sam, Amanda, and myself have uh, curated uh, based on your, your suggestions um, that are available for you to download. So let's take, I'm going to grab one for example here. Perhaps I need the Discovery Education uh, tech book right here. What I, All I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the install button. And then up in the top corner, you should see an item that says command sent to device. And once that, there it is, there's that command I was looking for. Once you see that, I'm going to go ahead and hit my home button. 
and you can see right on my screen right here, Discovery Education is installing. So that's how that works. Um, those are that's for free apps. Paid apps are are another uh, deal, and we can talk about those at a later date. But I wanted to at least get you all started um, with how to go look through apps on there. Um, and if you wanted to just play with some, get a feel for how your iPad works. Um, I would encourage you to go ahead, dive into the settings a little bit and go ahead and see what uh, what kind of settings are available on your iPad that you can that you can change, that you can use. And we'll go through some of those in training as well. Um, get used to uh, the Safari web browser, which is right here. That's this guy. That will pretty much be your internet browser of choice on an iPad. So again, just a very quick, uh, just hopefully helpful quick hit video that would uh, just get you started on using this new device.